very good morning to one and all welcome to economic class today is 6th march 2021 in this revision series we are going to talk and discuss about the economic part so let's move further point number 1 chapter number 1 and chapter number 2 already we had discussed the notes and their question answers now we are moving towards the chapter number 3 notes of the chapter number 3 today is 6th march 2021 in the revision topic is chapter number 3 poverty as a challenge so dear cadet what is the meaning of poverty and why the poverty is called as a challenge we are going to see in this chapter this chapter in my explanatory video already i explained the basic point in this point we are going to only highlight the basic concept when i am going to focus the difficult point which students stated to me next in this point the poverty as a challenge we are going to see about the definition of poverty the causes of poverty and the anti poverty measures first the line is speaking about the poverty as a challenge so why poverty as a called as a challenge let's discuss because poverty leads to the people into the worst situation so let's quickly move toward the discussion of this chapter first we are going to see the introduction let's move to see that the poverty is the state or the condition in which a person or a community lack the financial resources and essential to enjoy a minimum standard of life and well being that considered acceptable in the society indicators of poverty nowadays they are the poverty is looked throughout other indicators like literacy rate lack of access to the health care lack of job opportunities lack of access of safe drinking water social exclusion sanitation and all these could be termed as indicators of poverty next moving further to see what are the different points we are going to study in this revision notes so here first poverty we are going to see what is the meaning of poverty after that poverty as seen by the social scientists poverty line estimation of poverty vulnerability vulnerable groups interstate disparity global scenario causes of poverty last two points that's anti poverty measures and targeted anti poverty program this chapter already we has revised two or three times now we are on the note series so please make a note of it the notes are very important to prepare any chapter first poverty so what is poverty poverty is a situation in that a person is unable to fulfill the basic needs of life just like the food shelter and clothing but here the point is different the poverty when a person is unable to fulfill the basic needs of the life just like food clothing and shelter you can write any answer to this what is poverty it is clear to everyone now now poverty as a seen by the social science now poverty as a look through that the social indicators like illiteracy level lack of general assistance due to the malnutrition lack of access to health care lack of job opportunity lack of access to the safe drinking water and sanitation analysis of poverty based on social exclusion and vulnerability is now becoming a very common next what is poverty line a common method used to measure the poverty is based on the income and consumption level right so a person is considered poor if he or she that means his or her income or a consumption level is moving under the particular minimum level necessary to fulfill the basic needs so that falls below a minimum level so what is that we are going to see that 
determination of poverty line how the poverty line is determined so while determining the poverty line in india a minimum level of food requirement clothing footwear fuel light educational medical requirement are determined for subsistence these physical quantities are multiplied by their price in rupees then the poverty line is the base on the desire calorie requirement food like cereals pulses milk vegetable etc together provide this calorie so these calories are calculated and converted in the rupees and added to the value of other needs like clothing footwear and few etc so what is that let's check out the accepted average calorie requirement in india is in rural area it require 2400 calorie per person per day and in urban area 2100 calorie per person per day and the reason why the calorie requirement in the rural area is more than the work of the people doing in urban area is that they do more physical work as compared to the people in urban area so urban areas people are living little bit luxurious life and the rural area people they are doing little bit hard jobs that the physical work is more thus the calorie requirement is lower than in urban areas compared to the rural area and the amount fixed as the poverty line for urban area is higher because the cost of essential goods is higher in urban area poverty line is updated periodically normally every 5 years by conducting sample serving carried out by the national sample survey organization so here the one marks mcq can be asked to you just like the national sample survey organization nsso that is conducting the sample survey which is carried out by this organization next how the poverty estimates so there is a substantial decline in the poverty rate in india from about 55% in 1973 to 36% in 1993 the proportion of the people below poverty line further came down to about 26% in 2000 so here you can see about how the poverty estimation is going on and how the poverty rate is decreasing vulnerability so vulnerability to poverty is a measure which describe the greater probability of certain co communities of becoming or remaining poor in the coming years what is that let's check out so vulnerable groups the people the poverty line is not the same for all social group just like the economic category in india okay so social groups which are most vulnerable to the poverty are scheduled caste and scheduled tribe household so here we are talking about the scheduled caste group and the scheduled tribes group they are the most vulnerable among the economic group the most vulnerable groups are the rural agricultural labor household and the urban casual labor household okay few words are joined together don't worry about that because the slide was representing like that only don't worry about that next point we are going to see the average percentage of the people below poverty line in all groups in is 26 51 out of 100 people belonging to the scs are not able to meet their basic needs similarly the 50% of the casual labor as you are seeing the workers in urban areas are below poverty line about 50% of the landless agriculture workers and 43 of the scheduled caste are also poor apart from their social group women elderly people and female in infant are systematically denied equal access to the resource available to the family this group is called as the poorest of the poor next interstate disparity 
the proportion of the poor is not the same in every state. State level poverty has declined, but the success rate of reducing poverty varies uh, from state to state. In 20 states and union territory, the poverty ratio is less than the national average. Poverty is still a serious problem in Orissa, Bihar, Assam, Tripura, Uttar Pradesh. So in that, Orissa and Bihar continue to be the two poorest states with the poverty ratio of 47 and 43 percent respectively. Urban poverty is also high in Orissa, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. There has been a significant decline in poverty in Kerala, Jammu and Kashmir, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat and West Bengal. The state like Punjab and Haryana have traditionally succeeded in reducing poverty with the help of the high agricultural growth rate. Okay, next we are going to see about the global scenario. In that, already I discussed all these points very deeply in the, my regularly class. These are only the facts and figures given here. You please check out. Please go through this slide. That means the global poverty has declined, but it is marked with the regional differences. The differences has been shown here. Next, again please see, it's a global poverty scenario. Next, moving further, these all points you can write in your notebook. You have to remember a few facts and figures. If this question is going to be, I describe the global poverty scenario in this, that time you have to write all these points. Next, the causes of poverty. So, this slide is representing the four causes of poverty. First one, the historical reason in the low level of economic development. So what was that historically? The British colonial administration. The policies of the colonial government ruined traditionally handicraft and discouraged development of the industries like textile. Next, we are seeing the another point. The another point is that the policies of the colonial government makes our traditional handicraft and discourage development of the industries like textile. The low rate of growth, right, leading to the less job and the low income. The high growth rate of the population and less availability of job lead to unemployment leading to poverty. So these are the causes of poverty. Please go through it and write all these points in the notebook. Next, the another point which leads to the causes of poverty that the lack of land resources has been one of the major cause of the poverty in India. To fulfill the social obligation and observe religious ceremony, people in India, they are taking the loans from the money lender and landlord and they used to fall into the debit trap leading to the extreme poverty because they are not able to repay that particular loan. And finally, they are losing their land, house and everything and they are becoming poor. The small farmer need money to buy agriculture inputs like seed, fertilizer, pesticide and etc. Since they hardly have any saving, they have to take the loans from the people and after that they are unable to repay it and they will become poor by falling in, fall into the debit trap. Next point, anti-poverty measures. The anti-poverty measures here 
speaking. Please see the slide. The slide is speaking to you the following point. Anti-poverty measures, the current anti-poverty strategies of the government is based broadly on two pl plans, promotion of economic growth, targeted anti-poverty programs, the next economic growth has increased and helped significantly in the reduction of poverty. Next point, this economic growth we are going to see the economic growth rate has increased please see the slide Next, the current anti-poverty strategies of the government as we are seeing here. So, they are the promotion of economic growth, targeted anti-poverty programs. So, in that economic growth has increased and helped significantly, but is not enough and is comparatively a slow process. Growth in the agriculture sector is much below expectation and a large number of our people are dependent on agriculture. Next, anti-poverty programs that are the targeted anti-poverty programs. I am not going to go move into the detail one because already I had explained you very nicely all these points. So, first point is here. That is the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act that is the act which provides 100 days assured employment, 200 district, after that it was extended to 600 dis district, one third of the proposed job were reserved for the women. The central government was also established the national employment guarantee funds, plus in that they will get a unemployment allowance also if they will not get a job within the 15 days. So, this type of all scheme you can see it here, right? National Food for Work program. If it is not given in your textbook, do not worry, just for your information, just remember this point. Next, Pradhan Mantri Gramin Yojana or Prime Minister Rozgar Yojana, PM RY, starting year and its concluding points which are important you have to write in your notebook. The next SG, SY that the Swarna Jayanti Gram Swarajko Yojana 1999, then Pradhan Mantri Gramudaya Yojana which I was talking about earlier 2000, then AAY. The chapter Food Security in India also the AAY is given into deeply in the additional box, brownish box. If you are having the textbook, you can go through that. What is AAY? That is Anto De Anna Yojana. Next, the challenges ahead. So, these are the few challenges which are still there for declining the poverty and they are the obstacle. The poverty has declined in India, but not up to the desirable level or desired level. The poverty reduction remains India's most important challenge. The certain social and economic group are still vulnerable to the poverty. Next, the official definition of the poverty is about the minimum sustenance level of living rather than a reasonable of level of living. Many scholars advocate that we must broaden the concept into human poverty. 
the human poverty not only considered lack of money but also absence of education health care or a shelter or a freedom or a caste gender and discrimination lastly is this revision series is over for this chapter i request you all please watch all the videos and do the revision part very seriously this chapter poverty as a challenge why poverty is called as a challenge you have to write the answer if you still face any doubt and difficulty please let me know that at your home please be safe and secure and do your homework part very sincerely thanking to each and everyone jai hind to one and all